Goulash Hungarian, Gulias, Yuja, is a stew of meat, usually seasoned with paprika and other spices. Originating from the medieval Hungary, goulash is a popular meal predominantly eaten in Central Europe, but also in other parts of Europe. Its origin traces back to the 9th century to stews eaten by Hungarian shepherds. Back then, the cooked and flavored meat was dried with the help of the sun and packed into bags produced from sheep's stomachs, needing only water to make it into a meal. Earlier versions of goulash did not include paprika, as it was not introduced to the Old World until the 16th century. It is one of the national dishes of Hungary and a symbol of the country. Etymology The name originates from the Hungarian. Gulias. Yuja, listen. The word. Gulia. Means. Herd of cattle. In Hungarian, and. Gulias means herdsman or cowboy. The word gulius originally meant only herdsman, but over time the dish became gulius, goulash meat, that is to say, a meat dish which was prepared by herdsmen. Also in medieval times the Hungarian herdsmen of Central Europe made use of every possible part of the animal, as was common practice. As meat was scarce, nearly all of the animal was often used to make the soup, even part of the hide that provided foot protection was considered a necessity. Today, Gullius refers both to the herdsmen, and to the soup. From the Middle Ages until well into the 19th century, the pusta was the home of massive herds of cattle. They were driven, in their tens of thousands, to Europe's biggest cattle markets in Moravia, Vienna, Nuremberg and Venice. The herdsmen made sure that there were always some cattle that had to be slaughtered along the way, the flesh of which provided them with gulishes. In Hungary Gulius In Hungarian cuisine, traditional Gulius leaves, literally Gulash soup, Bograx Gulius, Porkolt, and paprikas were thick stews made by cattle herders and stockmen. Garlic, caraway seed, bell pepper, and wine are optional. These dishes can be made as soups rather than stews. Excepting paprikas, the Hungarian stews do not rely on a flour or roux for thickening. Tomato is a modern addition, totally unknown in the original recipe and in the whole Central European food culture until the first half of the 20th century. Goulash is as well a fundamental part of Slovak cuisine, where is prepared in several different tastes too, mainly the same ones of Hungarian cuisine. Slovakia was an important part of the Kingdom of Hungary for several centuries, and the two cuisines have many common recipes. Goulash can be prepared from beef, veal, pork, or lamb. Typical cuts include the shank, shin, or shoulder. As a result, goulash derives its thickness from tough, well-exercised muscles rich in collagen, which is converted to gelatin during the cooking process. Meat is cut into chunks, seasoned with salt, and then browned with sliced onion in a pot with oil or lard. Paprika is added, along with water or stock, and the goulash is left to simmer. After cooking a while, garlic, whole or ground caraway seed, or soup vegetables like carrot, parsley root, peppers, green or bell pepper, and celery may be added. Other herbs and spices could also be added, especially chili pepper, bay leaf and thyme. Diced potatoes may be added, since they provide starch as they cook, which makes the goulash thicker and smoother. However, chili peppers and potatoes are post-16th century additions, unknown in the original recipe. A small amount of white wine or wine vinegar may also be added near the end of cooking to round the taste. Goulash may be served with small egg noodles called C. Sipetki. The name C. Sipetki comes from pinching small, fingernail-sized bits out of the dough C. Sipet equals pinch before adding them to the boiling soup. The Hungarian cook Karoli Gundel claims that in a goulash recipe, meat should not be mixed with any grains or with potatoes, so if potatoes or noodles are used, the meat should be omitted. Given the large number of goulash variants, however, this dictum is dubious. Hungarian varieties Hungarian goulash variations include CK Goulias. Reduce the potatoes and add sauerkraut and sour cream. Gulias Hungarian plain style. Omit the homemade soup pasta, see sipetki, and add vegetables. Mock Gulias. Substitute beef bones for the meat and add vegetables. 
also called Hamas Gulias, fake goulash, bean goulias. Omit the potatoes and the caraway seeds. Use kidney beans instead. Chongo goulias. Add sauerkraut instead of pasta and potatoes. Betyar goulias. Use smoked beef or smoked pork for meat. Likoxi pork goulias. Use pork and thin vermicelli in the goulash instead of potato and soup pasta. Flavor with lemon juice. Mutton goulias or burkagoulias. Made with mutton. Add red wine for flavor. A thicker and richer goulash, similar to a stew, originally made with three kinds of meat, is called CK goulias, named after the Hungarian writer, journalist and archivist Joseph CK, 1825-1895. Paprikas crumply. Paprikas crumply is a traditional paprika-based potato stew with diced potatoes, onion, bell peppers, ground paprika, and some bacon or sliced spicy sausage, like the smoked debrecener, in lieu of beef. In German-speaking countries, this inexpensive peasant stew is made with sausage and known as Kartoffelgulasch. Potato goulash. Outside Hungary Thick stews similar to Porkolt and the original Cattleman stew are popular throughout almost all the former Austrian-Hungarian Empire, from northeast Italy to the Carpathians. Like Porkolt, these stews are generally served with boiled or mashed potato, polenta, dumplings e.g. nokedly, or galuska, spatzel or, alternatively, as a standalone dish with bread. Austria in Vienna, the former center of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, a special kind of goulash had been developed. The Wiener Saftgulash or the Fiakergulash on the menu in traditional restaurants is a must-have. It is a rich porkold-like stew, more onions but no tomatoes or other vegetables are used, and it usually comes just with dark bread. A variation of the Wiener Saftgulash is the Fiakergulash, which is served with fried egg, fried sausage, and dumplings named semelnodal. Croatia Goulash Croatian, Gulas, is also very popular in most parts of Croatia, especially North Hrvatsko Zagorje and Lika. It is considered to be part of traditional cuisine. In Gorski Kotar and Lika, deer and boar frequently replace beef, Lavatsky Gulas. There is also a kind of goulash with porcini mushrooms, Gulas od vr ganja. Bacon is an important ingredient. Gulas is often served with fuzzy, najoki, polenta or pasta. In Croatian, Bosnian and Serbian is augmented with vegetables. Green and red bell peppers and carrots are most commonly used. Sometimes one or more other kinds of meat are added, e.g., pork loin, bacon, or mutton. In Slovenia, they are known as perkult, but are often referred to as goulash, or a similar name. Czech Republic and Slovakia in the Czech and Slovak republics, goulash, Czech and Slovak, gulas, is usually made with beef, although pork varieties exist, and served with bread dumplings, goulash with beef in Czech hovazi gulas s nedlikum, in Slovak hovaji gulas s nedlu, in Slovakia more typically with bread. In pubs it is often garnished with slices of fresh onion, and is typically accompanied by beer. Beer can be also added to the stew in the process of cooking. Seasonal varieties of goulash include venison or wild boar goulashes. Another popular variant of gulas is segedinsky gulas, seged goulash, with sauerkraut. In Czech and Slovak slang, the word gulas means mishmash, typically used as mit v tom gulas, to be disoriented or to lack understanding of something. Germany German goulash is either a beef Rindergulash, pork Schweinegulash, venison Kirsch goulash, or wild boar Wildeschweingulash stew that may include red wine and is usually served with potatoes in the north, white rice or spirelli noodles mostly in canteens, and dumplings in the south. Goulash sape goulash soup, is the same concept served as a soup, usually with pieces of white bread. Italy 
Goulash in Italy is eaten in the region of Friuli Venezia Giulia and the autonomous region of Trentino Alto Adige Tsuderol, regions that had been part of the Austro Hungarian Empire and still are in part culturally and linguistically Austrian. Here it is eaten as a regular Sunday dish. It can also, although less typically so, be found in the nearby Veneto. An interesting regional recipe comes from the Pustertal, Val Pusteria, Puster Valley, in South Tyrol. It is made of beef and red wine, and seasoned with rosemary, red paprika, bay leaf, marjoram and lemon zest, served with crusty white bread or polenta. The lemon gives its signature flavor. Goulash is also quite popular in the city of Ancona, which is culturally quite near to Eastern Europe. Poland a form of goulash, Polish, goulash is also popular in Poland, though said dish is more similar to Hungarian porkolt than actual goulash. Came to being around the 9th century. It is usually served with various forms of noodles and dumplings, such as paisi. Serbia In Serbia, goulash Serbian, gulas is eaten in most parts of the country, especially in Vojvodina, where it was probably introduced by the Hungarian minority. It is actually a porkolt like stew, usually made with beef, veal or pork, but also with game meat like venison, deer and boar. Compulsory ingredients are meat and onions, usually in 50-50% to 50 ratio, paprika, and lard or oil, other ingredients being optional, garlic, parsley, chili pepper, black pepper, cinnamon, bell peppers, carrots, tomatoes, red wine, mushrooms, bacon. Sometimes, goulash is sweetened by adding tomato paste, sugar or dark chocolate at the very end. In Serbia, goulash is most often served with macaroni or potato mash. Slovenia In Slovene partizanski golas, partisan goulash, favored by Slovenian partisans during the Second World War, is still regularly served at mass public events. Partisan golas Utilizes onion in equal proportion to meat. Slovenians usually use two or more types of meat in cooking. Golas. United States and Canada. American goulash, mentioned in cookbooks since at least 1914, exists in a number of variant recipes. Originally a dish of seasoned beef, core ingredients of American goulash now usually include elbow macaroni, cubed steak, ground beef or hamburger, and tomatoes in some form, whether canned whole, as tomato sauce, tomato soup, and or tomato paste. In some areas it is called slumgullion. Other Goulash communism was the maverick brand of communism practiced by Hungary during the Cold War, characterized by some degree of political freedom within the Hungarian Communist Party as well as limited economic freedom and freedom of speech, inspired at least in part by the 1956 Hungarian Revolution. See also Beef stew Beef bourguignon List of beef dishes List of pork dishes List of soups List of stews National symbols of Hungary Food portal References Bibliography Gundel's Hungarian Cookbook, Karoli Gundel, Budapest, Corvina. ISBN 963-13-3733-2. External links Gulasha, Curlie.